Okay, the next thing we want to do is import our content. And there's a few ways we could do this. We could do it by way of uh, an RSS feed, so generate a feed for your site and use the inbuilt function in WordPress in the Tools menu to import your RSS feed. So if I go to Tools over here, we can see if we click on Import, site is in any of those. I could just import all the posts using those. Or if my site has an RSS feed, or I can create an RSS feed using software or an online service like um, HTML to RSS, I could just use an RSS plugin with that, create the feed. Um, this uh, doesn't come out as a feed, but I could use it as a plugin as a folder, sorry, it comes out as a feed, but um, as an actual file I would need to use a plugin like Feed WordPress or WPOmatic or one of the many RSS feed plugins or um, I could just upload that as a text file and save it as an RSS file and import it that way or I could just copy the pages into a text file and insert those or copy them as an HTML file and insert them using the source code editor. If I had them in a CSV sheet I could upload a CSV um, and insert them that way. So there's a number of different things that I can do. I've only got um, one, two, three pages on here so it's not really worth while for me to muck around too much so I'm just going to actually swipe them like select all and copy them. Now if you have a number of images you might need to look at the source code and see where they're at. Image is living in order to put it in the same source code view of WordPress and I'll show you what we mean when we get to that. But the first thing that we need to think about is our site. Now if this was already indexed then you want to make sure that the file extensions are all the same. These are all pages and the first page, the home page, is this one that's entitled What is in Counting Anyway. So if I want to set this as my home page, it doesn't have a, um, a permalink structure like dtv.com What is Accounting Anyway because it's set as the home page. The others do. So if I press on uh, Basic Accounting Principles, for instance, the file extension for that is going to look like this with the HTML on the back. And these are all pages, so we want to keep the same format just in case they've already been indexed on your site. So to do that, the first page, what is accounting anyway, I'm just going to create a page in WordPress, swipe this content and put it in there and set it as a home page without any post title so that it will still look the same. The other pages, if I want to have them as pages in WordPress then I need to install another plugin called a HTML extension plugin which is what I'm going to do as well. Now you could also have them as posts but remember posts are static, uh, posts cycle through, pages are static and if they've already been set up as pages, you probably want this same look. If you wanted them as posts, then we could just change our permalinks that way. So it depends on what you want, whether you want pages or posts, or whether you want to have like a blog on here or whatever. I'm just going to keep it exactly the same. And I'm going to do them as pages. So what I need to do, first of all, is going to install WordPress will add on a HTML extension if you want things as pay, as posts but it won't add it for um, pages so if I wanted it as uh, just post name I don't need to use this plugin and I could still get the HTML extension on the end so it would look exactly the same for example, I could have a post and it's called Keeping HTML. The problem if I do it as a post is that I don't have a category 
like this never had a category here called bookkeeping HTML. So posts usually get assigned to a category and if you don't assign them to a category WordPress automatically assigns them to uncategorized. Pages are outside that structure and accordingly they don't have the HTML extension on them so I can't change my HTML structure to have HTML on it because it won't work with pages or only work with posts. So I need to install this plugin. So I'm going to download it. It's uh, from WordPress Hero. Just going to click to download the HTML on pages plugin. So now I'm going to activate the HTML on pages plugin. And of course I could always change my permalink um, structure in WordPress, changing the permalink slug. So that I thought I'd carry on with the pages that I had from the static site. <coughs> and that's the only plugin I'm going to activate at the moment. Now I'm going to add those pages in. And I've already started to do this just in order to speed this process up. 